Welcome back to more World of Final Fantasy, everyone. So I know I'm in a freaking weird, awkward place. You'll have to start the video, the saving screen. But I want to do the intro because I'm pretty sure cutscene's coming up next. So here we go. Part 2. Chapter 1. Land of the Lilikin. So, this must be Grimoire. What? <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I know! We look ridiculous! <laughs> huh? Oh, don't the worry! I'm sure that's how every the body in this world must look! And a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. <laughs> okay. Lilikin and giants. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lilikin and the taller people are called giants. I see. The twins can switch freely between these forms to change rain, press L plus circle. To change the lamp, press L plus square. Okay, gotta remember that. Although you're free to strut around as either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Although we haven't learned too much about the advantages of each of each form, so we'll see. The tips you see in these panels are never out of reach. You can view them again by pressing or by selecting the tip jar from the game menu. In fact, you might even notice and a crow has slipped a few extra tidbits in there that don't appear during the course of the game. So remember to check the tip jar every now and then. I guess we should head straight down this path? What the heck? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? Okay, so let's see. A lot of question marks. We got items. We have prisms. It allows you to imprison the set. Okay, I have mirages. I see. But that's pretty much all we have. Um, and then we have... Pretty much nothing else. This adventure log down here. Oh, okay, so it's like Final Fantasy 13. How it just explains like, I'm sure a lot of you have played Final Fantasy 13. You would know that it's kind of like this, I guess. It just gives you a lot of info about certain things that have happened as you progress through the game. Cool. I'm not gonna read that though. It's a waste of time at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's not what you want to see a Let's Play for. You want to see the gameplay, you know, and story. Okay, so oh, tips. Okay, that's what I meant by the tip jar. You know, when I saw that, I thought you literally meant, like, stuff to give me, like, tips, you know? Not actual, like, hints. But we've already seen this. Right? AP. Yeah. Classic battle. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, it's like Final Fantasy XIII, just help, you know, along the way. Configuration, we've already set this up, okay. So I guess we're just good to go. We can press square to rename? What the hell does that mean? Oh, I see. I'll do that later, though. Um. Okay, so that switches from both forms. Damn, that's a lot to learn already. Okay. What? I'm not gonna get lost. Okay, so that's yeah. the pause. That's the bigger map. Pretty straightforward for now. I mean, there are a couple more things over there, but we'll see. All right. Is that an enemy? Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. 
And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening, the choco chip, then the use your prism. Imprisming? Wait, imprisming mirages. Okay, in order to imprison a mirage, you'll need an empty prism compatible with that mirage. But there's some good news. Hendricker will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you encounter a new mirage. Huh? Why does the Enneko just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, okay, whatever. <laughs> I see. Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every mod you meet eventually, but be sure to take the time to get to know the friends you have before looking for new ones. Okay. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage's prismarium allows you to use the mirage in battle. If you look closely at a prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. So to recap, you start with an empty prism, and prisming a mirage in the prism turns it into a prismarium. The prismarium lets you add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you won't lose the prism, so there's no need to hold back. Similar to Pokemon, what I'm seeing, okay. I'm like, you gotta weaken it, then use the prism on it. Okay. If you press the options during battle, a window will open containing info on the mirages you are, you are facing. And with the Libra ability, you can see even more detailed information. You can switch between mirages with L and R1. Okay. Each mirage is strong or weak against certain elements or status elements. Learn to identify the following symbols when looking at a mirage data. Fire, Ice, Thunder, Wind, Water, Earth, Light, Dark, so the basic 8 attributes. And then status elements, Poison, Confusion, Sleep, Blind, Oblivion, Berserk, Slow, and Death. I'm familiar with all these except Oblivion. Okay. Nullifies elemental attacks, absorbs elemental attacks. Okay, so nullifies is... Okay, I see. In addition to status elements, characters sometimes undergo other positive and negative changes in battle. These are usually triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Stun, Protect, Shell, Reflect, Reg uh, Regen, Haste, Bravery, Faith, and Chaos. I know all of them except probably Stun. It's a little bit more unique. So, okay, so Strength. Strength of defense. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty self-explanatory there. Okay, so you just use the Libra automatically. 148 HP, size S. And Prism 0, Potion. Elemental Resistances. So weak to ice, okay. Use physical attacks to create a, a pris Prism Tunity. Requires a Choco Chick Prism. Oh, okay, I can just cycle like that, I see. And I can cycle... Alright, that's cool. So if I press options, it should bring that menu up again, yes. Okay, I'm not understanding it then, okay. Let's go back to classic. Oh, and also the HP thing isn't even displayed if you're playing with... Wow, with basic. Yeah, classic owns basic. Oh my god, okay. Let's go ahead and attack, because that's pretty much all we can do at the moment. to the claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the prism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. You can't just walk up to mirages and imprison them. To collect the mirage, you need to knock it into the pris prism tunity stage first. Mirages won't let their guard down forever, so don't miss the prism tunity when it arrives. Sometimes all you need to create a pris... That's a weird word to say. Is a big... Heavy club, but the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting the club down and thinking outside the box. Prison too many requirements vary from mirage to mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint. Okay. I see. Freaking... That's a speed of 5, and it's still pretty slow. Okay, why does it keep going back to that? What the hell? I don't like that. Is there a way to, like, save it? There probably is, actually. Um... Can I just imprison it now? Or do I need to damage it more? I'm just gonna try to imprison it now, because I mean, the tutorial said to do it, the guy, so I guess it's gonna work. This time, at least. Yeah, it worked, I think. Hey, then look, you did it! Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! Good job! Hmm, alright. Experience, I get level up, nice. So that's reigns first, you know. Oh, okay, okay, I'm starting to see this now. Okay, so you can switch the stacks up like that. So the stack just means the team. 
And you can use a total of, I believe, six from what I'm seeing. Three and three in each stack. Okay, I'm starting to understand this a bit more. Okay, I befriended you. A little chocobo that loves to waddle around. These feathery friends love to headbutt things that... Okay, this is fine because a chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. So there's a the stats on the right side. I can cycle the info... Wait, yeah, well, somewhat. Main habitats for the Wellspring Woods and... I can view the abilities. Okay. Um, does that mean that the green that I can use? I don't know. Okay. Cool. Name your Mirage. I'll just use default. I've, I don't want to confuse the living hell out of all of you guys, you know. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be seeing this less for the first time you're seeing the game, so... I don't want to confuse you all and just use the right names, you know? Um, yeah, that's good. running around in the prismarium pretty the neat huh next why the don't you have a go at stacking that choco chip on your head here watch i'll just show you oh now i get it so when i saw you perched on lon's head back in ninewood hills that's what you call stacking yep that's the right while i'm up to here i get to take it nice and easy uh is that stacking or slacking when you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. Okay. Should I stack? When you stack with Mirage's stats, such as HP, of all the stats members are combined. Your abilities may also transform. Stacking with the right buddy can give you access to new and powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart, but there is one downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into trouble. I see. So not only your strengths combine, but also your weaknesses. Use the stats stack setup screen in the game menu to choose which mirages will fight alongside you or is it on top of you. <laughs> Funny. You should set up stacks for both your forms. Uh, Lolican and Giant. Okay, that way you're ready for battle no matter what size you're using to explore. See, that's one thing I'm not understanding, the difference between them two. So that you should set up stack for both your forms. Lolican and Giant. Okay. Cool, I see. I see now. A stack can be up to three members high. There is one simple rule. Smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Lan, Rain, and their mirages are assigned sizes. Small, medium, large. Oh, see when I saw rank or whatever, I thought it was like S rank. Okay, it just means small. And your stacks, L goes on the bottom, M goes in the middle, and S goes on the top. Easy, right? When Rain and Lan are L sized giants, mirages will always stack above them. But when the twins are M size looking, yeah, things can get a little more crazy. Suddenly they can ride on top of L size mirages and put S size mirages on top of their heads. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Huh. By the way, you two can be switch between giant size and lilikin size. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. First of all, abilities, let's see here. So, um,. Wait, what the heck? Okay, so it's, um... It's Tama who knows Libra. Interesting. Okay, so that's that. Wait, 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 one more thing. I want to see one thing. Huh. Now, uh, let's go to stack setup. So, let's see. Currently, um... Let's see, so you're mid... Yeah, M, not small. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select you and add a monster or creature, whatever. 
So strength goes up, HP goes up to 280. Really? Yeah, that makes sense, okay. So let's put you on top because you are small so that works. Okay, so we're always gonna be having four stacks, two and two basically. So in these, okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and select you and then this time put the choco shake there. That makes sense. So the only thing you can do, I just wanna, okay, yeah, yeah. So you can't put obviously the same monster in both stacks of that other, either the looking or just like, you can't put Tama in both land and then rain when they're both lilikin or sorry giant yeah okay i'm getting this now i'm getting this tip jar uh that's just okay whatever screw that let's keep going you won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack so to get on top of a mirage you need to be in lilikin form okay so let me just go ahead and press this Ah, there we go. The just, just to see it. Learn is to try it. Once you've rounded up a few more mirages, you'll pick it up in no time. So that's by me pressing L and then circle for ring, ring, and then L square. Okay, cool. Nothing else in here. Just a what the hell is that? A dead end. But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear. Look the closely. This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Alright, let's examine it then. Gimme, gimme! You see a luster leaf reflected in its eye. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. Okay, using mirage board. Wait a minute, is this like the sphere grid? Oh my god, if, if this is like the sphere grid, I'm gonna love this game so much. Like a lot more. Each mirage has its own mirage board. A special chart that's packed with new powers and potential abilities. Staboos, okay, etc. Each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the SP or Mirages Earn when they level up. Some spaces on the Mirage boards cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions, but with a little work, they're all within reach. Mirages that have learned the Stroll ability will appear alongside Ren and Lan in the field, so you can explore Grimoire together. If you are accompanied, by multiple mirages with the scroll ability, you can cycle between them with, okay, the control pad. Sometimes strolling mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing different mirages to different places. You might be surprised by what they find. Okay, so let's go, um, mirage boards. There we go, now I don't want it. okay. Um, so these two don't have mirage boards. Okay. Um... What the hell is this? What the hell is that? I don't know what that huge cube is, but whatever. Okay. Uh, Stroll so far. Walk alongside a rain and land in the field. Inflict neutral physical damage. Topples. What the heck? Single. Restore HP. Oh, you can learn cure. That's ram. Gill finder agility. Defense plus. Wait, but like, can you go like this far or something, or do you have to? Okay, so it has to be a G. So it's sort of like the sphere grid, actually. Except it's only for abilities in this game, not for stats. Yeah, stats is still by leveling up traditionally. Okay, learned that. So that wait, how much did that cost me though? I couldn't even see how much that cost me. Um, how do I? Because it says SP and AP, but... Wait, how much SP do I have? Okay, two. I see that. Oh, okay. The, is the number next to the square the SP cost? I think so. Okay, that makes sense. So I can get that if I want to. But it might be best to wait for cure, maybe. So I'm just going to go ahead and not do anything there. So the only thing I don't understand yet is the huge cubes. 
I'm not sure what that means yet, but we'll see. Okay, so let's see. You have Foxfire already. Inflict magical fire damage to, okay, and then be useful information about the target. That's Libra. Strain plus. Oh, okay, so I guess you do actually get attributes too. Look at that. That raises strain slightly. So that costs three. That also costs three. Hmm. And then that raises HP to seven. See, okay, when you're improving HP, it doesn't actually show you how much. Like, you see how it just says 153 to 160, but in this one it says up by five. Okay, I'm gonna improve this, I guess. Strength. Hopefully I'm not being stupid and <laughs> making wrong choices here, but we'll see. Okay, so that's that. Hey, the Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. Okay, so how do I use my ability? Like, what the heck? You just have to, like, walk normally? And does it find it automatically? What the hell? Chocobo, or Choco Chick, whatever. I don't know, I'm just gonna be walking around, let's see what happens. What? <clears throat> huh? Oh. You found something. There we go. Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the gimme golem one more at a time. Huh? You found something. Gimme, gimme! Okay, let's go and do that. Vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros! So yeah, I mean, as far as the monsters go, it is very similar to Pokemon. You know, they can also evolve, apparently. Okay, I just learned that. Maybe that's what the big, like, dark, dark uh, cube squares are for. Probably. Okay, so there's a chest over here. Three potions, nice, okay. Now, one second, he's strolling, so does that mean he's not in the stack? No, he should be on the stack still, okay. Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives him the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle the out and go back to their own worlds. Phoenix Town. What do you mean, some Phoenix Town? What? Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh, it's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so before I examine that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video because I have no idea what that is, and who knows how long it'll actually take. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.